Hey guys, it's Jessica. I'm bringing another topic to you guys this week. This week we're going to be talking about bringing who you are to where you are. So sometimes we feel this tension. We go to church and we don't necessarily feel like we fit in. Sometimes being at church, it's like, ah, I just, I don't feel like I'm connecting. I just, there's some sort of breakdown. There's some disconnect. But then you go off to do things in the world. Maybe you go to work, you go to school, or you're on social media and you think the same thing. I don't really fit here. I don't really belong. And you just feel torn. If I don't fit here and I don't fit here, where do I really belong? And that's what we're going to be talking about all this week. So if you guys have your Bibles, go ahead and grab them. Open up to Philippians 1.27. And we're going to be reading uh, the book of Philippians today. Actually, it wasn't meant to be a book. It is a letter that Paul was writing to the church, um, the Philippian church, and he was actually writing to encourage them. So if you guys have your Bibles, let's open up and let's read together. Um, just to give you guys some background on this church, the church was really struggling. The Roman Empire um, had control over the area where the Philippians lived, and they had a lot of rules and regulations that went against the things that the church stood for. And the church was new, and they were super passionate about what Christ was doing and about the scripture and about growing um, the church of Christ. But the Roman Empire didn't, didn't agree with them and actually persecuted the church, and they tortured and even killed a lot of the Christian church for their beliefs. And so they cried out and they needed encouragement. And Paul wrote to them during this really tough time. And he wanted to encourage them. Now Paul himself was in kind of a difficult situation. He was also in prison while he was writing them this letter. So the church is being persecuted. Paul's in prison. They're in these really tough places. But Paul, even from prison, was encouraging the church. And he wrote in uh, Philippians 1.27, he said that whatever happens, conduct yourself in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. And other versions even say, act out your citizenship in heaven. Your citizenship is in heaven. And so as a citizen of heaven, we need to conduct ourselves in a way that brings glory and honor to Christ. So we may feel this disconnect and the world may be telling you all of these different things, but we are supposed to act in a way that brings glory and honor to God. We're supposed to live as citizens of heaven. So I know that's kind of a big topic. We're gonna, gonna keep talking about it all week, but my challenge to you guys today, I want you guys to read the rest of uh, Philippians 1, and I want you to really understand and know that Paul, when he's writing to them, he's telling the church that they're not alone, that the rest of the Christian churches are praying and standing in faith with this church as they're feeling persecuted. So go ahead and read all of Philippians 1. I want you guys to think about these questions. Think about a time where maybe you felt really out of place. Maybe you felt torn between these two words, worlds. It could be something specific, like maybe you're at practice and something came up. So think about a situation like that, or maybe just in general, when you hang out with this group of people, maybe you feel that disconnect. So think about it, write it down, because I want to talk to you guys about it. And then the second thing I want you guys to think about is, um, what could potentially make Christians seem a little bit different, seem a little bit odd or strange? Um, write those things down and I want to talk with you guys about that, okay? So read Philippians 1, write down a time where you felt that disconnect, where you felt um, like you didn't belong, and then thirdly, write down some time or some things that make Christians seem a little bit odd, a little bit different, and then we're going to talk about those when we get together uh, next time. Love you guys. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.